Hannah Smith, and I wrote this for Gracie on September 22nd, 2020. I met Grant in the second semester of my eighth grade year when I transferred from Heritage Middle School to GCA. He and Wynn Hicks were my first friends at Grace Christian Academy. The first conversation I had with Grant started off pretty intense. He received a text and then announced to our lunch table, quote, I hate my dad. I kind of laughed it off thinking he was a typical teenager hating their parents. My own father is an alcoholic and extremely abusive, but luckily I no longer have to see him. Jokingly, I said, I bet I have you beat. Grant looked me in the eyes and said to text him later. Grant then went on to tell me that his father, Aaron Solomon, had molested Gracie, his younger sister. I asked him how long his dad had been molesting Gracie, and he explained that he remembers it all the way back from when she was a newborn. I was completely shocked and asked why he hadn't told anyone. Grant told me he was terrified of his father because Aaron had so much power. He explained that Aaron had convinced the judge to give him full custody and his father didn't let him see his mom, Angie Solomon, for years. He then told me Aaron could get away with anything. He said he had watched Aaron try to kill his mother but was luckily unsuccessful. Only a little bit later, Aaron forcefully took Grant and Gracie from their home and never took them back to see their mom. Grant said he had a terrible feeling and even tried to open the car door to jump out onto the highway. Aaron grabbed him by his wrist so hard, Grant thought he had broken it. Later, Aaron had told both of his children that Angie was dead. Grant said he was just now, in eighth grade, able to see his mom every other weekend. He knew his dad could take away the privilege of seeing his mom whenever he wanted. I asked him if his dad had abused him as well. He said his dad constantly told him he would never be good enough, too fat, too slow, stupid, etc. He said his dad would take out his anger on Grant and hit him frequently. Throughout our high school years, Grant and I stayed close. I had become very close with Gracie and I had the opportunity to testify for both him and Gracie in court, or so I thought. Grant was playing baseball in North Carolina and was unable to be at court. I waited for hours with Gwen Hicks and Gracie in order to testify for them. Suddenly, Angie came into the back room telling Gracie that she had lost and Gracie had to go back with her dad. It was one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever experienced. Gracie clung to her mother and sobbed and begged for anyone to listen to her. Anne screamed at her and told her she had no choice and she was leaving with him to go back to North Carolina. Angie and Gracie both fell to their knees completely broken. Scott Parsley, Aaron Solomon's attorney, showed absolutely zero sympathy and told Aaron, just rip her off of Angie right now and take her, she's yours. He talked about Gracie like she was a piece of property to Aaron, which Grant had told me many times how despicable Scott Parsley is and how Parsley is willing to do anything to win a case. The court system has yet again failed and a child has once again been placed into the hands of an abuser. Because of the court's lack of concern and cowardly behavior, Gracie experienced her father inappropriately touching her on the North Carolina trip. Gracie remembers him specifically re requesting one queen bed in their hotel room so that he and Gracie had to sleep together. He then positioned himself behind Gracie. Gracie said he could feel him moving back and forth <clears throat> and shake while feeling something hard against her back. Bottom line, it is inappropriate to simply sleep in the same bed as your preteen daughter as a man. CPS and the court continue to ignore Gracie's pleas for help. On a second hearing, I waited in the back rooms of the courthouse from 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. I once again was not allowed to speak on the behalf of Grant and Gracie. Still, the judge failed to help the innocent children from a dangerous abuser. I was furious. No one is listening to Gracie or Grant even though they continually ask for help. I decided to make an appointment with Amy Curl, the counselor at GCA. I told her everything I knew and she explained to me there was nothing she could do about it. Gracie has also told the counselor why she didn't want to see her father and she was shut down. The administrators at GCA told her that they knew about the abuse allegations, but it happened years ago and it was just time to move on. Aaron is allowed at all events at GCA around hundreds of little kids for him to pray on. He is constantly taking pictures of all athletes, 
of all sports during games as he sits completely isolated from the rest of the parents. Once again, the people put in positions of power failed to help or even show remorse. Not to mention, Erin molested Gracie in current years in North Carolina and no one has the right to tell her to move on. Everyone seems to dismiss her truth. Angie never did win custody in the court battle and Grant and Gracie never got justice. I could see the toll this took on Grant at school. He would miss random days and then come back not smiling or being his upbeat self. I texted him to check in and he told me he didn't understand why his dad won and was able to walk away free. He said he deserves to be locked up for life. I agree completely. Then Grant turned 18. A month later, Grant died. There is no, explana there is no explanation. It makes absolutely no sense. The way the incident supposedly happened doesn't even make sense. Everyone is genuinely confused. Grant was finally an adult. An adult statement in court is instantly more respected. Grant is his mom's and sister's protector. Without him, Aaron would feel a sense of power and control once again. In fact, it is exactly what is happening currently. Now that Grant is no longer present physically, Aaron is taking actions to forcefully get Gracie back. He is ignoring all of Gracie's boundaries. He is willing to tear her away from her mother and do whatever it takes to be successful. Why? Because Grant can no longer stop him. Aaron Solomon was a danger to Grant and still is a danger to both Gracie and Angie.